Let's mine some Ethereum on my 1660 Supers. What is up miners and welcome back to the 3 Fox Company YouTube channel where we do rig builds, gear reviews and how to crypto videos. I am Jacques and in this video we'll be mining Ethereum with our 1660 supers. We'll be having a look at overclocks, hash rate and profitability. So let's go into the video. So just on a quick tangent after I see the video of DJ Mines about mining addiction, I've got a few questions to ask myself. Do I wake up 3 o'clock in the morning checking my phone to see if my rigs are okay? Yes. Do I hoard all this stuff which I might actually use in the future? Absolutely. Do I have more money invested in my rigs than I've got in my vehicle? Not yet. So I highly encourage you to go over to the video of DJ Mines about do you have a mining addiction? I'll put the link in the description below. Just one last thing before we get into the video. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of the viewers and subscribers. May you have a great and wonderful day with the family and friends. So inside the miner, you can see I've got a 1660 Super as well as a 3060 LHR version 2 GPU. I'm using the 1660 Super as an example today to demonstrate the efficiency of this GPU. For me, I've always chased efficiency. And I think it's efficiency that's going to save the miners when we go into a bear market. Especially now that the crypto prices are down. For me personally, it's important that I get the best efficiency out of my GPUs to be able to stay profitable. So on stock settings, you can see I'm getting 20.85 mega ash per second with an efficiency of 187.9 kilo ashes per watt. And the GPU is drawing 111 watt as reported in the miner. So traditionally on Ethereum, GPUs like to have a positive memory clock offset. In this case, I will show you. So I've got GPU 8. This is my GTX 1660 Super with Hynix memory. Now Hynix works a little bit different than Samsung and Micron. So traditionally, you will put a positive memory clock offset. So in this case, let's put 1000 which will be equivalent to 500 in Windows. And then we just go back to the miner and see what effect it's having on the hash rate. Now, after a few cycles, you can see the hash rate went up to 22.53 mega ashes per second. The power went up to 114 watts and the efficiency is now at 197.6 kilo ashes per watt. So now if we go back to the farm and we increase this even more until 2000 on the memory clock, the offset, which is equivalent to 1000 in Windows. So now we go back to the miner, let this run for a few cycles and see what the difference is that we can see on the ash rate and efficiency. Again, after a few cycles, you can see now the ash rate went up to 23.44 with an efficiency of 199.9 kilo ashes per watt. Actually now it went up to 24.21 so that gives us an efficiency of 201.7 kilo ashes per watt and this is not near to what we expect from this GPU. Typically on a 1660 Super we expect anything between 31 to 32 mega ashes per second. So we'll go back to the miner, do a few more changes and then see how efficient we can get this GPU. Back in IvoS. We go to GPU number 8 and one of the secrets with the Hynix memory on the 1660 Super is that we're actually having to put a negative offset in the memory clock. Now a lot of miners are using the same value and I also found much success with this is minus 1004 which is an equivalent of 502 in Windows and there's a specific reason for this and I will show you in the miner. So on stock settings you would have seen that we get about 6801 on the memory clock. Now the Heinrichs memory has got like a tipping point of 6301. So the moment you get it below 6301, you significantly increase the hash rate. Here already you can see that we went up to 30.1 and on the next few cycles it will increase even more. So if we can keep the memory clock below 6301, then we can expect a hash rate of about 31.5. The moment that you take the memory clock over 6301, that's the tipping point and that's where you significantly lose hash rate on the 1660 Super. So after a few cycles, now you can see we're getting 31.66 mega hash on the hash rate. The power also went up to 123 watts and the efficiency is 257.4 kilo ashes per watt. 
So now we got the maximum hash rate out of the GPU. So now we will power limit the GPU so that we can get it more efficient. Back in Ivo S, I like using locked core clock as it runs my GPU's core frequency is very stable. The suggested value is 1050 on the locked core clock. So we'll just put that in and then we'll run it for a few cycles and see what efficiency we can get now. Again, now we ran a few cycles. The hash rate is still at 1.65 mega hashes, but now with the lock core clock, the power went down to 78 watts. Here you can see we've got a lock clock of 1050, and the efficiency went way up even now on this refreshed cycle to 410.9 kilo hashes per watt, which is much, much better than where we started off. So with the power still on 77 watts, we can get this even more efficient. So let's go back into highways. I'm actually running my lock core clock as low as 900 so we just put in 900 for the lock core clock we go back to the miner let it run for a few cycles and see what it does to the efficiency now that a few cycles have passed you can see we are still on 31.69 mega ashes on the hash rate the power came down to 72 watts and now we've got an efficiency of 440.1 kilo ashes per watt. So just to do a comparison between the 3060 LHR version 2, the best efficiency that I can get out of this GPU, as you can see on screen, is 348.2 kilo ashes per watt. So here you can see that the 1660 Super is way more efficient than the 3060 LHR version 2. And that's got partly to do with the LHR that we're actually losing about 26% of hash rate on the 3060. This also tells me that when we go into a bear market, my 1660 Supers will be the ones most likely to stay on and I will stay profitable on the 16 Super for longer than I will be on the 3060 LHR version 2. So what does the profitability look like? So we come over into what you mine. So if we put the actual values in here that we are getting, it's 31.65 mega ashes per watt and we're using 72 watts and then add the standard 10 cents per kilowatt hour current profit at the current difficulty let's see what we can expect from this gpu but currently on ethereum it's still the most profitable coin on this gpu with 184 before electricity and 1.67 dollars after electricity so at this point the 1660 super it's still one of my favorite gpus and it's very profitable on ethereum even with the ethereum prices that's way down at, at the moment Please let me know in the comments below which overclocks you are using and what hash rates you are getting from your cards. Also, if you found this video useful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.